and we all know that every snowflake is different. Well, how do we count for that? How do we count for this variety and diversity? A snowflake has to form around a nucleotide, nucleotide, nucleotide. It has to form around something in the center, a nucleotide. We all know that every snowflake is different. Well, how do we count for that? How do we count for this variety and diversity? What makes each snowflake unique is that it forms, this water crystallizes around a nucleotide, which is a virus catching a ride down to Earth. Well, given that there are trillions, truly trillions of viruses and bacteria in the air, and when there's a snowstorm, when there's snowfall, what happens is, what makes each snowflake unique is that it forms, this water crystallizes around a nucleotide, which is a virus. So when we have snowstorms and snowfall, what we're actually witnessing are viruses catching a ride down to Earth. So they may find a host. And that is what snow and snowfall is all about and why snowflakes are all different. Now, think about that for a second, for a few seconds. The cells in our own body are not our own. We're full of parasites and viruses and bacteria. And where are they coming from? How do they get inside of us? There's all sorts of different ways. One of the ways is that they're catching rides down to earth on snowflakes.